The electronic elements of a product do not exist in isolation. Successful products are a complex fusion of electronics and physical design. But until now, electronics and mechanical design have existed as separate worlds. Altium smashes this barrier by unifying ECAD and MCAD to create the first real solution to electronic and mechanical design collaboration. Effectively in the past we've had this huge gap between electronics design and mechanical design. What Altium Designer is doing is building a bridge between these two environments. Today's engineering environment is very different. The need to produce uh, far greater functional and smaller and effective products places a greater risk of failure on the design. The new features we're introducing in Summer 08 allow the MCAD data to be imported into the PCB editor. So for the first time we're seeing complex MCAD data being brought into the ECAD space using a universal standard file format. It's great. Altium is extending its revolutionary real-time 3D visualisation technology so that electronic and mechanical designers can work from a single product definition that is shared across Altium Designer and virtually any mechanical design software package. Well, we wanted to make this functionality available in all MCAD tools, so that was best achieved by picking a universal and non-proprietary format and um, STEP was a natural choice for this. Well, it's actually a dynamic approach. The STEP 3D data is incorporated into the Altium design environment as an element, as part of the design. That particular element can be manipulated, worked with and changed or updated in a very dynamic sort of way. What we're doing is we're leveraging an industry standard format for file transfer and we're using a non-proprietary mechanism for doing it. So you're not locked into a particular MCAD software, and more importantly, you don't have to learn any new software. Mechanical assembly is now a unified part of the electronic design process. The ECAD MCAD bottleneck is gone, reducing time consuming design iterations significantly. For a board designer, it's great because he no longer has to rely on the mechanical department to tell him if his design is going to fit into their case. He can see that up front in real time and our team designer can do the clearance and interference checking for him. To produce something such as this in the first cut is really quite a bonus from my point of view as it's not the sort of thing that engineers have had as a tool in the past. This same concept of unified design has now extended beyond the bounds of ECAD. So we're now seeing this ECAD, MCAD interoperability as a real possibility. Although the focus is electrical, it's not typically been a mechanical domain for the engineers to take into consideration. But now that this sort of thing can be analysed thoroughly and the risk reduced significantly, it's definitely the sort of domain that the electrical engineer can now take on. This unification allows high-level collaboration between ECAD and MCAD. Designers can focus on the end product as a single model and address mechanical constraints as part of the board design process. It's now a highly accurate tool for thoroughly analysing what it will be like in the real world. By building this bridge and supporting the concept of this singular product definition, we're suddenly making it a lot easier to capture the design intent and maintaining an accurate definition of this product right through the design process.